pardon me, as I find my way through the choir movement there. I'd like to welcome you to our services today. If you are like me, your throat may be a little raspy or a little congested or something. But the Bible tells us to make a joyful noise to the Lord, and that's all we may be able to do today. But that's fine. We'll sing praises to our great God and Father. And so today, the first song we'll sing is Hark to Herald Angels Sing. It's certainly not a new song to us. Uh, Charles Wesley wrote over 6,000 hymns. Uh, his goal was to teach doctrine to those people who were illiterate and did not have the training that he did. His brother Charles, the evangelist, uh, his brother John, the evangelist, would say that Charles's hymnal was the best theological book of its time. Uh, Wesley's Hark the Herald Angels Sing was written in the uh, 1700s and clearly is one of the most popular carols today. Uh, the first line originally read, Hark how the welkin rings, glory to the king of kings. A welkin is the English word, old English word for vault of heaven. Uh, later in that same century, George Whitfield, the English preacher, would change that to, as we know it today, hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king. Of course, uh, somewhat presumptuous for Whitfield to identify that angels sing. Uh, the Bible doesn't specifically say that angels sing. It doesn't say that they don't sing. It just doesn't say that he does. That, it kind of makes the song a little nicer, that first phrase, and so uh, I don't think it's doctrinally inaccurate for us to sing that in this particular time. But if you listen closely to the lyrics, you'll see what uh, John and Charles were identifying, the doctrinal um, distinctions, the, the teaching in there is rich. Uh, the fourth stanza, which we will not sing, it's not in most hymnals, uh, kind of expounds this whole doctrine. So let me read it to you uh, before we begin singing. Come, desire of nations come, fix in us thy humble home. Rise the woman's conquering seas, seed, brood in us the serpent's head. Adam's likeness now efface, stamp thine image in its place. Second Adam from above, reinstate us in thy love. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. That is not my voice, by the way, in case you thought it might be. So stand as we sing, hark the herald angels sing. Thank you. 
Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer as we uh, dedicate this service to him. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that you have sent your son thousands of years ago to take on our flesh, to become human like us, to live the life that we could never live, to die the death we could never die, to rise again like we never could, so that we may experience the second birth, the new birth, and that we may experience eternal life with you in eternity. Father, thank you for the gift of Jesus. Thank you for this season that we may remember the miracle and the wonder of Jesus taking on flesh and being found in the fashion of a servant and humbling himself to the point of death, even death on a cross. May Jesus be high and lifted up in all that we do today. May you be glorified in our singing and in our fellowship, our encouragement, our prayer, and the teaching of your word. We dedicate the service to you. We thank you for being a loving father for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. We do welcome each one who has joined us today for our morning worship service. A couple of announcements as we uh, get, in, uh, get going. One, uh, uh, Pastor Dave uh, texted this morning and said he came down with the flu last night, so you're s- stuck with me. That's all you get for today, so uh, we'll keep uh, Pastor Dave in your prayers. I'm sure he'll hopefully get uh, healed up soon and quickly. Uh, also, thanks to those that came out for our Christmas party on Friday. Just had a really great time over at the Pampin Park Pavilion. Uh, the fire was just really nice and cozy. The food was incredible. Uh, custard cookies. You can just never go wrong with tacos and custard cookies and a fire. Uh, and our Bay City family. It was a great time, so thanks to all the that, uh, serve. Mark your calendars for, Lord willing, maybe the second Friday of next, uh, next year, and we'll get back to it. So thanks to all that came out. Really had a great time. Uh, one announcement as well is that next Sunday, the 18th, is I think probably everyone's favorite Sunday of the year. It's the Sunday when the two and three-year-olds walk up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everyone. Yeah, our attendance is going to be through the roof next week now that they're uh, doing that. So, okay, next week is our children's Sunday school Christmas program. So the twos and threes will be up here just doing what they do and being cute and laughing and all that kind of stuff. So that's next Sunday. And then the Sunday school kids in elementary will be doing a Christmas program as well, uh, which is why the stage is a little bit different. They're going to be practicing and uh, doing all the stuff. So the hay and the trees and all of this stuff uh, we'll be getting ready for next week. So that's why the stage is different as a little uh, preview trailer for next week of the kids doing that. So come on out next week ready. Uh, those kids that have been involved in the Sunday school hour have been practicing. Uh, so I appreciate Stacy Van Cleve and Paula Stoff heading that up. So that'll be next, uh, next Sunday. So come on ready for that. And then the following Sunday is Christmas Day is on a Sunday as well. So this year we don't have a Christmas Eve service. Uh, because Christmas is on a Sunday morning. So the Christmas Eve service style thing will be moved to Sunday morning. And so it'll be a very stripped down, uh, simple service. Uh, Pastor Dave will be heading that one up. And originally we were talking during our pastor's meeting and we originally were like, well, it's going to be a really simple service as Christmas. So we're not going to have any, or we weren't going to have any nursery or children's thing like that. Uh, But then I was like, well, I'll take nursery uh, that day because I get to be in the services a lot, and so I'll take that. So on Christmas morning, uh, I will be uh, providing nursery and could use maybe one or two other people uh, to help out with that. That way families can still come. So if you, because we didn't want to like assign someone to be in nursery on Christmas day, that just, it's a hard thing to do of like who gets, to, who gets picked to be in nursery on Christmas morning. So instead, uh, I volunteered to do it and would like one or two or three other people, if you would say, hey, I'll volunteer uh, for that as well. So if you'd like to, let me know. That way we can provide nursery so families can come and enjoy the Christmas morning service. So let me know. Teens, you're welcome to as well. Uh, Just talk to me for Christmas morning to help out in nursery on that day. All right, well, at this time then, I believe we'll take our Mars Jars offering. And so this, uh, those that may be new, in April, Lord willing, we'll have a missions conference. And so the money that our kids will help us collect will go towards the Mars Jars offering. So we'll take that at this time. So kids, you can come on up. And blue team, green team, red team, let's take our Mars Jars offering at this time.
this conference. So with that, all right, at this time, we'll, I don't know if Jason, I think he's sick, so Mike is taking it. To, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out sick. It's that time of year. So Mike Fleming is going to come and just give a public committee update for us. And then after that, Mike will lead us in, uh, not this Mike, the other Mike, who <laughs> will lead us in uh, our next song. Mike. Boy, I'm really glad he cleared that up about the song. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to have a little bit of a short update this morning. Um, yeah, Jason is ill this morning, and he's not the uh, only one among us that's uh, fallen to this. But uh, first of all, I want to just start out on behalf of the pulpit committee to thank our pastors for just keeping things going really well here at the church. And, uh, and that's been good, and it's good to not feel like we have to be in a hurry to, to get this done. Of course, maybe you're thinking we should be in more of a hurry. I'm not sure, but... <laughs> Um, but things are, are going along, and I, they're going along just according to our plan. We're happy with how they're going. I have to say the holidays kind of impose a, a bit of a slowdown on you, whether you like it or not, because people, uh, everybody involved in this has got all kinds of commitments, as, as we all do. So uh, we.